back again to discuss this topic of hell. In the last video concerning hell, we learned that Jesus went to hell. Now, what we're going to notice from this video is that Jesus knew he was going to hell, which is Hades, not torment. We made that distinction last time. Everybody, good or evil, goes to hell, goes to Hades, the realm of the dead, but not everybody goes to torment. We're going to be introducing some more concepts like this as we go along. But first, what we need to note is that there's two words that individuals think of when they think of hell. One is Hades, which is where everybody goes when they die. And another is Gehenna, which is a reference to fire, uh, punishment. Now, Matthew 16, 18, we see this. Jesus says to Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Well, look at that. There is a gate, a gate to what? To hell. Now, this is the realm of the dead. Right. It's a picture that once you go in, you're locked, you're trapped. Right. But guess what? That locked gate of death, of not being able to come back to life, that gate is going to be opened. Jesus would die. He would go to where the gate is locked, but that would not stop him from building his church. We learn Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Jesus purchased the church with his blood. It was through death that Jesus purchased, established, and built his church. Now, I want us to take a note of this. We have Matthew 16, 18. There's a gate of hell. You go in, you can't come out unless you have the key or unless somebody has the key. Now, look what it says about Jesus. Jesus has that key. Jesus says, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. Now, this word hell is the same one we just read. Well, earlier, we just heard Jesus speaking about the gates of hell. He went, and guess what? He has the keys, so what happened? He was dead. He used the keys. To do what? Come back to life. He has those keys. He has ascended from the realm of the dead back into his body, which he walked the earth for 40 days, and then he ascended up into heaven. But Jesus went past the gates of hell. He now has the keys. He is alive forever. And when you and I die, we go to the gates of hell. You can't come back to the living. Now, we learn then, therefore, Jesus has these keys. When people die, they still go to hell. People still die. And when I say people go to hell, I'm talking about good people. Good people still go to the realm of the dead. They still go to where they are awaiting resurrection, just like Jesus went where he was awaiting resurrection. Good people still go to Hades, and that's the Greek word, Hades. Uh, the Old Testament uses the Hebrew word for that location as Sheol, which is a reference to the grave. That's what this is a reference to, but it's a reference to where your mind is still active, where you have a sense of understanding still. You have a sense of understanding when you go to this location. Jesus went to this location. He has the keys to this location. He is alive forevermore. Well, why is it that we still die? Why is it that we still die and he has not opened up the gate for us? For those who have died. We'll talk about that next time. We'll talk about the existence of hell we're going to be talking about how long is hell, Hades, the realm of the dead, going to be in existence? And when will the gate be open for everybody, for all people? Then after that, it'd be good for us to look at the way that some of that language is used. How the New Testament describes the terminology of the realm of the dead and some of the examples in which 
Hades, hell, the realm of the dead, the grave, is used because it is used poetically, you could say, figuratively, but it's also used literally. And here we learn it's literal. Jesus went to Hades. It says the Holy One, we read that in Acts chapter 2, the Holy One went to hell, not torment, but to the grave where his spirit was still active, his soul, and he has the keys to open the gate. The gate was opened for him. Well, the gate being opened, what did that mean? It means he is never going to die again. Individuals who are dead are still dead, awaiting the resurrection to receive eternal life that they might never die again. How beautiful is that? We're going to talk about that concept next time as we continue our thoughts on this discussion of hell. Leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Helps us in the algorithm to reach more individuals. And if you're learning, I hope so. I hope you feel like you're learning because this is positive things coming from a positive book to encourage you to have a positive mindset, to think about God and his word and his son who experienced what we experience to free us from what traps us. And in this case, that would be death. There's a gate. Well, there's a gate. There's a key. Who has the key? Our Savior who died for us and rose again. And he'll use that key and raise everybody from the dead. Jesus has told us what to do to be saved. Believe and be baptized. Do you believe it? You can become a member of the body of Christ and ask the good news. Until next time, stay tuned, stay up to date, and keep coming back.